should the priorities be for a facilities department? Shouldn't it be the health and safety of the occupants of the building? Or staying in code because that way the occupants of the building are kept safe? Or maybe it's making sure that the comfort level is appropriate for the occupants of the building so that they can do what they were meant to do in that building, whether it's teach or heal or work in an office building. Today and most days, it tends to be that appearance takes number one precedent and cost takes number two precedent, when truly we should be more focused on the health and wellness of the occupants of the building. Did you know that a drinking fountain has 40 times more germs than most other surfaces in an occupied building, and yet we spend much more time making a floor shiny than we do cleaning the drinking fountain spigot. In fact, there are so many things that we could do to make sure that our wellness in the building stays on track for the occupants, and yet that's not the emphasis and focus. We need to work together as facilities departments, as cleaning companies, as chemical vendors, as suppliers in making sure that the occupants of buildings have health and wellness as a priority. There are simple things that we can do, including making sure that we're wiping the correct surfaces at the right time of day. Daytime cleaning will impact wellness, as well as making sure that we're educating our folks on proper hand washing and hand sanitizing. So I hope that you'll join me in the discussion on health and wellness and how we can work together as a team to make sure we're doing the right thing for our customers and for the right thing for the health and safety of those we serve. To view more quick clips, visit issa.com.